Hey everybody, Chaotic Vane here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. This is Season 4, Episode 40. And this is in fact going to be the last episode of this season. And I only say that because I am too excited to jump on to the uh, Alpha 5.0 experimental. And what I'm going to do is since it's only, a, I think, like a week until public, is I will probably just mess around with it in creative mode and upload that. So for right now though, what I wanted to do is, <clears throat> since I already had a base in my factory being made, it's only got 16 minutes left. And so what I did is, I just uh, I let time pass while I was sitting here. And what I'll usually do is I'll sit at my base and let my turrets defend me. And then I'll just put all of my stuff into the crate in case I die of hunger or something weird. So we're going to go ahead. We're not even going to pick up the auto miners. We're just going to boogie on out of here. We're going to go straight to Masperon. We're going to set that base down. Now, like I said, we're not going to get a whole lot done with it but at least we'll get to see it. A lot of water jugs, okay. The new update should be absolutely exciting. I'm excited about it. I am once again I'm not gonna tell y'all what's in it. I will just upload a video of it. Oh you're full, that's right. Just full of goodies. But this isn't my first save to run through, I guess you could say. And I've lost many different things on this game. Which is alright. It's the whole point of the uh, alpha experience. I enjoy it. Patience is not one of my issues. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, there we go. by Oscatoon. Out in space we are. Alright, let's lock in our destination. Let's see. Masperon. Lock target. Aim at it. Warp away. Okay, let's make sure turrets are on. Turrets are active. Okay. Pulse lasers, let's go ahead and reload those. Yeah, it's a shame I'm not going to be able to sit in this base and kind of enjoy it and call it home, I guess. A lot of materials. It's alright. I just need to get a lot more videos done next season. We had some trouble uploading a couple of days in a row, but that's alright. And I'm trying to, I'm looking into getting some music into the background of these. And especially I'm going to start doing it, I think, whenever I do non-commentative videos. <clears throat> I 
All right, here we go. Mass Baron. That's a base. Nice and green, <laughs> kind of neon looking. It'll pick us a decent area to land. If I'm not too close to a pole, that's actually not too bad of an area. That is the pole barrier though, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's see where I want to set this thing. I kind of need somewhat level ground. From the looks of it, it's a pretty large base. <clears throat> Cleaning up the local wildlife, local alien wildlife, I should say. Looks like a pretty good plateau over there. The tracers are cool, at least it shows me how much they're missing. <laughs> this actually does not look that bad of an area. make land. Here we are. Ooh, wow, yeah, that's actually pretty level. Let's turn off the thrusters and RCS. Alright, let's see what we got out here. If I need to throw on my helmet. I do not need to throw on my helmet. That's pretty cool. Still got plenty of ammo to keep me alive until I get that base up and running. We shouldn't be too far off now. Nine minutes. I'm gonna throw a bunch of this into another blueprint too, probably. Three minutes till sunrise, it looks like. Let's go look at that plant over there. That was kind of interesting looking. I think it was actually back. Right over here, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Reminds me of one of those balls outside of like a gas station or firework stand from the 70s, maybe. Oh, look. That's pretty neat effects on the ground. Does it do it more if I get lower? About the same. No, it kicks up a little dust once I finally hit the ground. Looks like you could get crystals here. That's good. Alien thorn. Oh, sunrise is over this way. That's pretty cool. Now I notice it actually kind of gets a little hard to see whenever the sunrise is coming up through these fogs. Mr. Rock guy. I don't want to venture off too far. Looks like a bunch of rock dudes down here. So that is water. So I guess you could set up a water oxygen generator. Which is good to know as well. I'm going to try and shoot for just to get immediately back to this planet. And the problem was is that it just doesn't have minerals on it. I'm really interested in trying to add in some of my own planet files too. Get a picture of these guys. A little slime dude or something. Plasma drone. 
take care of that real quick. Maybe, maybe not. I must be out of bullets. Well, that didn't take much, did it? I think he's tall enough to hit me even if I get out on top of this thing. Jetpack on. Just, just in case I fell. Definitely some creepy sound effects on this planet. Now I hope they later on they separate what you want to shoot with what at least what type of alien because I don't really have the need for my capital vessel turrets to be shooting just those eight-legged alien creature things right the, I think they're called overseers call them what they actually are all right what does that put us at Five minutes. Okay. Gravity generators off. Yeah, I definitely want to make a bigger capital vessel too. I just made this one real quick in the creative mode not too long ago. So I kind of wanted something different than what the stock um, blueprints had to offer. Kind of a smaller package. which is good. I really I would have used a lot more of that stuff but since I had that blueprint making forever now see I made the mistake of making a small vessel which reset my timer on it because I think I had it down all the way down to a blueprint production of an hour and a half and my crystals do on that jump now I think the amount of crystals that are used, I'm, I could be wrong, is how far your target is. Yeah, I need to start feeling this. I've never been to the alien outpost, it'd be kind of neat to check out. I might make a small, kind of assault, I guess, series too. So my plan with that would be is I would bring something like this along with the repair bay, everything I need to kind of survive out there. If I got really crazy with it, I could put up a quick asteroid base with the repair bay as well, and then just go knock out as much as I can off of whatever is out there in that alien outpost. Is that? Is that one of those slimes? Swamp gold. Oh, okay. It's just he's a little bit lower. Those are interesting looking. Let's see what kind of weird rock formation you are. Ghost power station. Just north of me. Oh, okay, that's right. That's that thing I saw uh, when I was making my uh, descent. Yeah, that's weird looking. Yeah. 
Looks like my uh, capital vessel is actually helping me out here. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty cool. I gotta get another picture, guys. Now hopefully the people over at good old Elyon Studios take a little break this Christmas. I'm pretty sure that's probably why they released this uh, update when they did. Oh, that's pretty cool. I doubt it'll stay there since it's not technically docked to it. That morning fog, look at that, gorgeous. <coughs> Let's see if they add anything else to the tech tree. I'm sure they did on the next update. That's just offline protection. So they've been sneaking in things like different variations of the cargo boxes, different variations of the turrets, thrusters. Check that one already. Yeah, looks like I unlocked everything. Plenty of points available. I have no idea why. Did y'all just shoot him down, or is that actually what y'all are shooting? Alright, here we go. Base is ready. Let's put a... Let's actually grab some ammo out of this thing. I'll have it make some more as well. Because I'm guessing what the base is going to have on it is at least something that uses 15 or 30 millimeter. these, we're going to grab that, we're going to leave the rest with this capital vessel and run out here yeah look at that, I don't think you could ask for flatter ground now hopefully none of these rocks get in my way absolutely happy look at that Masperon base. <coughs> okay. Home. Crank her up. Oh, ain't no fuel in there. Sometimes they come with fuel, sometimes they don't. Oh, they're trying to shoot all the bugs. Cannon, flak, and sentry. Okay, so they don't use the. 15 millimeter, they use the 30 millimeter. Oops. We'll have to grab some flak ammo. Well, we would if we were still playing after this, but like I said, this save is actually going to be null here pretty soon, so we're just going to go ahead and hop onto that experimental branch. I know it doesn't use the uh, 15 millimeters, but I'll just throw it in there anyway. Well, look at that. Man, see, that would have been really cool to uh, have the chance to sit here and mess around in here. What is it made out of? Hardened steel? I can get behind that if it's pretty consistent. I see I just saw a combat steel. I did not like that. Unless it is supporting the core. There it was. Where'd it go? Combat steel. Why do you have two combat steels there? Really cool. This looks like the main elevator shaft. Constructor room. 
fuel. No. Ammo. Cargo. Now what kind of constructor did it come with? Advanced. Okay. Same on this side. I would have no need for two of them. Actually, I don't want to take that back. I probably could use two. Well, that looks really neat. Now most of these bases that have been added into the stockpile on the uh, the main game here have been actually created by players in the game. And though I probably should announce who they are and who made them, who distributed them, I think that them alone getting in there is pretty cool and rewarding as it is. I have enough trouble keeping organized. What is this? Ah, nifty. Medical. This is fuel. Oxygen. Assume more fuel. And this base can last a really, really long time. Just sitting here. So if you were to be playing on a multiplayer, it's good to know. There's your core. So what is protecting the core? Since like I said, this save is gonna be null. Looks like I missed an area. Yeah, okay. Let's go up here. That was pretty neat. Looks like we have found the farm. I am quite curious what your structural integrity looks like, even though I did just take out a block. A little farm eating area. It's pretty nifty. Let's take that back out. Seems pretty solid. Comes with its own plants. Nice window. Okay. I'm digging it. I think it's worth the, the material. Because they made it out of hardened steel. Looks like the windows actually are not too bad. I don't think they're armored, but they did update it to where it looks like it has a thousand hit points. That's a repair bay. This is where my core was. Combat steel. Combat steel. Okay. So not much. Not much. That's something to uh, try and remember there. I'll probably add some extra plates to the back of that. Last thing I need is it getting caught. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed Season 4 as much as I have. I do apologize once again for some of the upload misstates that I did there. That was not my fault, but we'll leave that there. We are going to get a lot done in the next season. Chaotic Vein out.